Buju. Hello and welcome to my channel, Sarah Seer Tarot. I'm Sarah and I'm here to do a mid-monthly reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign for Aquarius. If you're here because you want to know about an Aquarius, that means you're a cross watcher. You're also welcome here. Okay, I'm going to light some sage. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me for my highest good. So that I may provide the message that Aquarius needs to hear today. Also light some cedar. Clear out any energies and any negative energies that may be present. Only spirits, ancestors, and guides that mean me and those that are listening, no harm, are welcome here. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. From simple stain will keep me free, and at this hour my helper be. Okay, I'm just going to light a candle. For the ancestors. And we are going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. I'm going to pull three Oracle cards for you, Aquarius. Mid January. What does Aquarius need to know? First card you get is the tribe. Who is your tribe, Aquarius? Then we get not for you. Some type of strategic game is going on. People are strategizing. This usually means politics. Then we have Treasure Island. Some kind of big money is coming into play here. And then we have No Place Like Home. Feeling, wondering where you feel the most comfortable, finding a place, making your home as comfortable as you can. Maybe you're working from home, Aquarius. Okay, let's see here. Aquarius. Pull three cards for you, Aquarius. First card we get is a Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Six of Cups is also the soulmate card. A soulmate can be um, somebody that you have a soul contract with, not necessarily a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a, your child. It could be your parent. Somebody you have a soul contract with it just means that you're meant to learn something for them or they're meant to learn something from you. Eight of Cups, which is all about walking away from something. And we have here Three of Cups. Huh. So you're either walking away from, you're celebrating walking away from a soulmate or 
you're walking away because there's a third party situation. What's the situation you're dealing with? The magician. The three of pentacles. There's lots of threes in here. And the six of wands. I think you're manifesting some kind of create creative new project and you're getting you're gaining victory over it Aquarius the outcome you have here is the king of cups this guy is a master of his feelings this is an adult an adult that knows how to love correctly could also be a Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces What else is in the outcome here for Aquarius? Eight of Swords stuck in your thoughts. Having some kind of mask on and being stuck in your thoughts, maybe about some type of water sign here, a mature water sign or somebody that's deep in their emotions. And Page of Swords. Which this card is usually a card about communication over the internet. It could be spying going on over the internet. Maybe you've been... Oh. And underneath you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is material and familial wealth. And there's a fighting card underneath that, which could be that you're fighting over some type of wealth. Hmm. Deep in your emotions, stuck, and you've been spying over the internet, maybe trying to figure out answers. But you're manifesting some kind of creative new project and you know you're going to be victorious over this. All right, let's get some clarifying cards for you, uh, Aquarius. Let's find out more about this Six of Cups situation. And what you're walking away from. Aquarius. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Four of Pentacles. That's stubbornness. Stuck energy. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords. You're very, you're very stuck in something, stuck in your thoughts. You're holding on to something very tightly. And then the Three of Cups you have here, the Temperance card, which is about balance and flow, letting the energy flow through you. Um, this Three of Cups here. You're needing to find balance from maybe some third party situation that you know you need to walk away from. Hmm, the temperance card. This lady is dipping her toe into water. She has one foot on land. She's got two cups in her hands and she's just letting the energy flow back and forth, balance. Clarify the Magician. Why is the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here for Aquarius? Eight 
Ace of Pentacles, a new project. You're manifesting maybe a new job. New something you're going to be working on. In the center of your reading, clarifying the Three of Pentacles is death. Some kind of creative project is being rebirthed, Aquarius. And it's happening right now. There's a resurrection, death off. That's a timing card. Death means right now, Aquarius. Why is the Six of Wands card here? What is this victory? Queen of Wands. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be you. Maybe you're looking, Aquarius, that you're going to have some type of new project, some type of new creative project that's getting brought back to life. You've manifested it and it's with this fire sign. Okay, what's the outcome here? Justice. This is karma. There could be karma that's going on with this um, water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. <clears throat> something to do with the law. Something coming into balance. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ace of Cups. This is a new love being stuck in your head about some kind of new love that um, maybe it's a new love offer. Why is the Page of Swords here? <laughs> Judgment. Spying. Thinking about the past, what's going on in the present, and how will it, how will you use that information from the past and what's going on presently, and how are you going to bring it forward? Judgment is always somebody being at a crossroads. You're trying to decide if this is, this is a lot of new beginnings. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. And you're trying to figure out what direction to go. You're at a crossroads. And then underneath, you have the Queen of Wands, which is playful energy. Getting on your horse, getting ready to go out and travel. This is Sagittarian energy as well. Maybe you're dealing with a Saggy. You got a lot of uh, fire sign cards in here. Temperance is a Saggy card. Aquarius, you might be dealing with a Saggy. And yeah, I don't know. Only you know that. Okay, what kind of blocks are there for Aquarius? What kind of blocks are going on for Aquarius? Four of Cups. See that hand reaching out with that cup? That person's not even looking at it, just looking at those three cups on the ground. Then you have two of swords, which is about having boundaries up, making a decision. You have the emperor, which is the divine masculine. It's also boss energy. And you have the hangman, release and let go. Um, I think the blocks you're dealing with is that, um, having to make a decision about 
being a boss. Somebody is offering you something and wants you to make a decision, but you're being blocked because you don't, you don't want to release maybe your current position. You're in boss energy and you have you would have to make a decision about releasing that. Somebody's offering you something. You need you're being blocked from making that decision because maybe of your current responsibilities, whatever you're a boss of right now. Um and you're having trouble with releasing and letting go. You're being blocked from releasing and letting go and making this decision about this new offer. What advice can we give Aquarius? You seem to be really stuck, Aquarius. What advice can we give you? <laughs> the fool, take a leap of faith. Aquarius. You'll be victorious, the chariot. <sighs> you need to get on that horse, learn how to control the light and dark in you, and quit holding on to something too tightly. It's time to take a leap of faith. What else does Aquarius need to know? The magician. You have all the tools. I think you got the magician card earlier. You have the cup, the wand, the pentacle, and the sword. You definitely have all the tools. Aquarius, this is also your card, the fool. You're ready to go off on a new adventure, and you're going to be victorious, but you just learn have to learn how to um, not hold on to something so tightly. No more anxiety. You have all the tools, Aquarius. And the last card you got here was this Three of Swords. Um, you have all the tools to move forward with something. And you're at this crossword crossroads the magician card has shown up twice and the judgment card but you're having anxiety and maybe it's because you don't want to break somebody's heart this soulmate that you've been holding on so tightly too. But you're in this Eight of Cups energy of walking away and being stuck in your head about it. There's been this third party though and you need to get balance. You need to get balance and release and let go. Quit holding on so tightly. Yep. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands has showed up here several times. You're dealing with a fire sign or you're dealing with a third party. Because the Queen of Wands is also the other woman. Aquarius, looks like there's a lot of heartache, but you have all the tools to get over this anxiety that you're having. And it says you're going to be successful. You just have to take that leap of faith. I hope that was helpful. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you'd like to see future content, hit the subscribe. And if you would like a private reading with me, the description is 
the, the link is in the description box below. Bye, ma, pee. See you later.